Regent Wixom, why is it important to consider the cost for, of infrastructure for this particular stadium project? Well, it's crucial when we build the stadium that we have access to the stadium and that we have parking available to the stadium because without access and parking, we won't be able to utilize the stadium to its full capacity. And if we can't utilize the stadium to its full capacity, then we can't generate the finance or the funds to, to service the financing for the stadium. And so, as, as we talked about today, whenever we're looking at a cost estimate, we always have to add not only the actual hard cost of, of the facility itself, of the brick and mortar, but we also have to include costs for access. Uh, that would be traffic studies, reconfiguration of streets, uh, parking, and all of those associated with the costs. Do you feel the $200 million figure uh, associated with the previous stadium project could be appropriate in this particular case? I think it's a starting point, but we have to drill down on that figure to see if those costs are still relevant. Uh, that study was done several years ago when we were going through a, a previous discussion. Uh, I, I believe it's a good starting point, and I think that's something that we need to keep in mind, but we have to confirm that those figures are still accurate. We also have to confirm the scope of, of the work that was that included in those figures and make sure that the work that was included in that figure is consistent with the configuration of the stadium that we're looking at now. Okay. Thank you, Regent. Thank you.